What is going on, guys? It is your favorite pro player, Apathy. Right, maybe, maybe that's not true. Maybe one day, hopefully sooner or later, or maybe never. But, you know, it'll be cool if one day that's his I am this true. And today, we're going to be doing the top three best pro player classes, the top three best pro player guns. And, of course, the one and only. We're going to be starting off with the MP5. Now, in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of pro players can agree, at the current state, this is the best gun in the game. The MP5 is just such a dominant gun, man. It's a dominant close up. It's dominant in range. The 10mm is what it makes it so good. The attachment 10mm increases damage and increases range on the gun. So it makes this gun very, very powerful and can compete with ARs even at distance. So if you haven't used this gun yet, I highly recommend you do and try it out. This is the class I'm rocking with right now. I'm running stippled. Of course, you can't you can't go wrong with the stippled, man. Stippled is great, dude. It is a, oh my god, that just popped the that's popped the quad feed. Oh, oh, oh. I'm turning up over here for you guys. But I got the stippled and 10 mm. Those are the two no-brainers. Uh you want those on for sure. If you're not using those, then you're uh doing it wrong. Then I'm rocking, rocking the monolithic suppressor, increasing that damage range. Such a good attachment on the MP5. In my competitive class, I usually run sleight of hand. But in most pub games and SD tournaments, I do rock the monolithic suppressor for that extra damage range. Just such a great attachment. And I also got the Merc foregrip and the collapsible stock. Now, these attachments are all just so good, so dominant. And it makes the MP5 such a strong gun, man. I love this gun. Like, this is my favorite gun, bro. Such a look at this. Look at how good it is, man. The MP5, I've been loving it since day one. It's just such a great and fun gun to use. Such a powerful rush class and rush gun to use. If you haven't used the MP5, like I said, I highly recommend you try this class out and rock with it. The number one best class, the number one pro player class in this game right now. Until they nerf it one day. Maybe they'll nerf it one day, make it a little bit weaker, make it not as good. That 10 mm on this bad boy just makes it so freaking good, man. Now for the next gun, as you can see, I'm currently rocking the M4. Now, M4 is another just powerful gun. I should have had that three piece if I didn't get streaked. But this is another just one of the best guns in the game. In my opinion, the second best gun in the game. And it's just such a powerful gun with very little recoil. It literally has all the good stuff about it. Like, all the stuff you would want on a gun. Look at this, bro. I'm literally just running around like a maniac mindlessly. And still getting kills and still winning gunfight. This is just another one of those guns that you know are overpowered, bro. They're so powerful. It has great range. Has good damage. Little recoil. Look at this. Oh, my God, dude. I killed that guy so I killed that guy so fast. And I'm currently rocking a very fast M4. In my opinion, you want to rock a fast M4 just because it aims it a lot quicker. It's a lot more, has a lot more mobility, has still good damage and range and all of the good stuff. And it's just such a, still such a really good M4 class. So you guys should really check out this class and use this class right here. This class is a, one of the best classes you can rock. And in my opinion, it's probably the best for a respawn. Uh, just with the whole like no recoil well not no recoil but very low recoil still has very good damage it's just overall it's just amazing man and I hate these poison gases dude why is it still affecting me I'm not even in anymore look at this man oh my god dude and I really find like red dots are a waste in a lot of guns it's just you're wasting a attach and slot a slot on a red dot when you don't really need a red dot man the iron sight is still very good you can easily see people with the iron sight you can still be really accurate with the iron side and it's just a waste of an attachment and also if you guys didn't know a red dot actually slows down your ads a little bit so why would you on top of everything a wasting attachment why would you want to slow down your ads ads is very important a lot of the times especially when it comes to 1v1 gunfights and situations you want to have a gun like be able to ads very quickly so if you haven't bro look at this it's just such a good gun man try out the m4 try out this class as well you can obviously take out one of the attachments look at that i'm beaming with iron sight it's aiming very quick low recoil like commando four grip combo is just one of the best combos in the game you can run with and it's just so dominant dude don't worry you're dead you're dead too you're dead you're dead I'm telling you, dude. And lastly, guys, we got the Ram 7. This thing is a freaking beast. If you do not know what the Ram 7 is, it is the DLC weapon that was recently released not too long ago. 
And this gun is just, bro, it's fast. It has good time to kill. Uh, very little recoil. As you can see, this class I'm going to be rocking with is my favorite Ram 7 class. It's basically a class that ADSs very quickly. And I think that's one of the biggest problems with the Ram 7 is the ADS is very slow. So this class right here, you're going to notice I'm going to be able, I'm going to ADS. I'm going to be aiming in very quickly. And to top it off, even though like usually when you have a lot of ADS, recoil is kind of bad. But I'm able, I'm still able to control this recoil very well and still be very dominant, dominant with these attachments. And it's just great, man. It's it's my favorite AR over the M4. I do like it more. I just think the M4 has a slighter advantage over the Ram 7. If you guys haven't checked out this class yet, you highly recommend you try it out. Just a fast class, dominant Ram 7 class. Shoot so it's just oh my god, man. It's just one of my favorite to run. Easily, dude. And I don't know what my teammate's doing here. Just gonna gotta get a little twisted over here. Show you guys. Show you guys some work. So show these guys. So you Oh my Look at a lot of ARs over here. Snipers. I don't know what did I did I Did I party up with Face Clan? Am I playing Face Clan right now? Oh my god, they all spawn here. No, I choked. As you can see, guys, this gun is just phenomenal, man. This gun is just phenomenal. Ram 7, you guys got to use this exact class I'm rocking as well. I'm still able to control the recoil very well. And I think this gun is low-key, like, nah, not low-key, high-key. I think this gun is overpowered, like easily overpowered. And I really recommend you guys to try this class out. These are the top three best pro player class, the top three best pro player weapons. At the current state, this gun is actually not allowed in the CBL and the pro league. Um, for various reasons, one, they always got to permit a gun, it, it, even though it just it got released DLC, like they have to allow the gun before it could even be in competitive. So this gun is still not in the current state allowed, but if it was allowed, I, I'd 100% would see pro players using this, use this gun, without a doubt, man. This gun could compete with subs up close. Like this gun would be easily a very overpowered gun what without i have no doubts about it literally no doubts at all about it right here we're turning up again we're turning up again gonna pop this veto oh what the that actually killed me are you kidding me dude and like i said one of the biggest weaknesses with the ram 7 is just it's just the fact that it actually aims in kind of slow. Everything else is pretty good about it. Like, it has pretty easy recoil control. It has a very good damage. Like, it's such a good gun, man. The ADS is just kind of slow sometimes. And I'll say that is one of the biggest weakness. Nope, you're not killing me today. My God. My God, I'm getting, I'm getting twisted on him. And I take this fast Ram 7 class any day over, like, a, da a better damage range Ram 7, you know? Like, you know, there's all those attachments that can, like, increase the range and all that stuff. I would take this one any day, any freaking day over any other one. Like, like you guys see what I'm doing right now. Like, you guys can see how, how, just how aggressive you can be and how dominant this class can actually be when you allow these things. i show you guys. King Slayer. King Slayer. You had one shot, one chance. You missed it. Come on, come on, come on now. You're dead. These are the top three pro player guns, guys. Top three pro player classes. Make sure to check them out, try them out, show you so you guys can see how good these classes are. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. It's a nice little informative gameplay video. So I'm gonna go over very quickly the classes I was running if you didn't see them. So I have the MP5 Monolith Suppressor, FTA, C Collapsible, Stipple Grip Tape, 10mm, and Merc 4 Grip. And these were my perks, EOD Kill Chain Tune-Up. And for my M4, I was using a variant gun, but I usually use a normal gun. I was just having fun with it. I run the Compensator Stock M60 Grader, No Stock, Stipple Grip Tape, Commando 4 Grip, a very fast M4 class. You can also change it to the Corvus Custom Marksman basically makes it slightly faster and it's still a really good attachment as well and then for the one and only ram 7 my second favorite gun in the game right now we got the ftac dude this thing increases the movement speed it makes this gun very good like just very fast 
Got the TAC laser, the close quarter stock, the stipple grip tape, the commando, ADS Pro, ADS Pro, ADS Pro, ADS Pro, and then this takes no ADS away. So this is a very fast Ram 7 class, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe for more. And you know me, I've been grinding, so let's keep going at it. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate you guys a lot.